Hey, Adeline Middle. Tonight we're going to continue with uh, section 7.1. Tonight we're going to be looking at finding percentages with a decimal of a number. A little bit complicated to even understand what that is, but I'll show you in just a couple minutes. Our trivia question tonight, another extreme. What is the lowest point in the ocean? We had the highest point on land, which was Mount Everest, the summit. What is the lowest point in the ocean? Tonight's official target, 7.1c. I can find the percentage of a number when the percentage has a decimal. Let's do this thing. All right. Zuri did a wonderful job in his author project. It was worth 30 points. He received 95.5%. How many points out of 30 did he receive? So there's our percent with the decimal that I was talking about. So what we need to do is we, we need to find out what 95.5% of 30 is. Well, the decimal for 95.5% is 0.995. Again, we need to divide by 100 to get the decimal of a percent. So divide by 100 and move it two places to the left, the decimal, that divides by 100, we get 0.995. Pop that into the calculator, 0.955 times 30, it equals 28.65%. We'll be using our calculator a lot in this lesson. So make sure you have one ready. Uh, Zuri would get 28.65 points on that assignment. All right, let's get to some uh, problem or our vocabulary for the day. Once again, it's percentage. Percentage is the amount per 100. I'm going to say that again next lesson too. We have to just keep the big picture in mind. And again, a note: when we move the decimal two spots to the left, we're dividing by 100. All right, take a look at these examples here. Here we have 10.5%. If I move the decimal two places to the left, divide by 100, I'm going to get 0 0.105. All right, make sure you note that I didn't drop that zero. That zero needs to hold the place, otherwise it would be 0 0.15. That's 15%. So leave the zeros where they're at in this lesson. This one here, it's 120.2%. All right, let's divide by 100. Move that decimal two spots. We got 1.202 is our decimal equivalent. Same thing here. Notice the zeros. Just move the decimal two spots to the left. Divide by 100. One, two. We get 1.005%. Does that make sense? Yes, because I want 100% is equal to one whole and then just a half of a percent. All right, 16.55%, a little easier. Divide by 100, move that two spots to the left. We got 0.1655, that's our decimal. And of course, we just multiply by the decimal. All right, let's get to our problem here. Um, let's see if we can find what 12.5% of 140 is. All right, well, I write out 12.5%. I'm going to divide by 100, so I'm going to move that decimal two spots to the left gives me this decimal of 0.125% times 40, and 0.125 times 140 is 17.5. Let's just get the uh, calculator out here just to verify that. 0.125 times 140 equals 17.5. All right, and as always, I'm asking you, does our answer make sense? Well, yeah, 10% of 14 would be, 10% of 140 would be 14, because we need to find 12.5% of 140. So, you know, that makes sense. So 12.5 is going to be a little bit more than 10%. And our answer of 17.5, yeah, that's a little bit more than 14. So. Reasoning your making sure your answer is reasonable is important. All right, here's another one. We need to find 50.5% of 100. Okay, well, write down the number, 50.5%. That's step one. Then we need to divide by 100. So we're going to move that decimal two spots to the left. We end up with 0 0.505. We multiply that times 100. And you can almost see the answer coming here. 0.505 times 100 is 
Does that make sense? Well, yeah, because 50% of 100 is a half, or 50, and we're just a little bit more over this, a half percent more. So that answer makes sense. Okay, let's try working one more problem together before I have you work some on your own. We need to find 25.25% of 400. All right, step one, write down that number, 25.25%. Divide by 100, same thing. Move the decimal two spots to the left so you get 0.2525 and multiply that by 400. All right, same thing with the calculator. I mean, you just 0.2525, you know what? I didn't get that right. 0.2525 times 400 equals 101. Okay, does that answer make sense? Well, yeah. 25% of 400 would be 100, and so we're just a little bit more than 25%. So yes, my answer makes sense. Okay, time for you to try some problems on your own. Get your calculator out, scrap a paper so you make sure you can write down the correct decimal, see if you can figure these ones out. Go ahead and pause. All right, let's see how you did. 157.5% out of 200. Well, if you move the decimal spot, divide by 100, you're going to get 1.575 times 200, which is 315. That answer makes sense. 157, 150% of 200 would be 300, so, all right. 14.5% uh, out of, of 180. Move the decimal two spots, we're going to get 0.145 times 180, 26.1. 250.25% of 155. Well, move it two places, you're going to get 2.5025. Did you remember to leave the zero in there? Good, because when you move that decimal, leave the zeros as their placeholders. Uh, Times 155 would be 3887.8875, percent Multiply that by, uh, of 200 would be, multiple, move the decimal two spots, you've got 0 0.3048 times 200, it'll give you 60.96. And this is kind of a tricky one. We need to find 1.23% of 100. Well, when you move that decimal two spots, one, two, you're going to need to add that zero as a placeholder. And that kind of makes sense, because we know that 0.01 is, as a uh, decimal is 1% or 1 hundredth. So 0 0.0123 times 100 would give us 1.23. All right, time to get to your ticket to the show. What is 12.4 percent of 180? Or of of 80? Sorry. What is 12.4 percent of 80? And what is 2.75 percent of 120? This one's a little tricky, so be careful there when you move that decimal. All right. The trivia question was: What is the lowest point in the ocean? It's crazy. It's the Marianas Trench, and it's near Guam. So here's Japan and New Guinea and uh, Indonesia, and here are the Philippine Islands, it's in the Pacific, and here is the Marianas Trench, right next to Guam. It's 35,840 feet deep, that's nearly seven miles below sea level, um, 10,924 meters, that's a long way. I, seven miles, that's like maybe from driving from Valley Middle School to Rosemont and beyond. Seven miles is a long way. When you think of getting in a car on a freeway and driving 60 miles an hour for seven minutes, that's how deep the ocean is. Wow. Uh, all right, so that's the Mariana Trench. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.